The name's Royal, Ian Royal, secret agent 003 and a half, licensed to be thrilled. My mission today is to drive this BMW 750iL and work out why the real James Bond chose a German car over a more traditional mark, perhaps like an Aston Martin. This is a car packed full of gimmicks and gadgetry with more than enough computer power to send a rocket into space. The BMW 750iL is a car with a whopping engine, 5.4 litres and a V12 that purrs around town. But when you unleash it on the open road, it growls with pleasure at its unleashing. It has 326 brake horsepower, more than enough to take the car to 60 miles per hour in six seconds and a limited top speed of 155 miles per hour. Even the steering wheel is a minefield of technology. You get controls for the radio, the telephone, the cruise control. There's a button to recirculate the air should it become stuffy here in the cabin, heavens forbid. And you can even have a heated steering wheel. A touch of the button will warm it for you on a cold winter morning. All around the car are these sensors which work the park distance control. Now they send a signal back inside the car to the dashboard which beeps at you as you get close to an obstruction, say a villain in a multi-storey car park. On your way to the casino for a game of Baccarat with Blofeld, then what better than in the back of the 750 IL? You get an extra five inches of legroom back here as well as electric seats, heated seats, double glazed windows, and these security blinds. What better way than to while away a few minutes and enjoy a vodka martini, shaken but not stirred. Now, you may think you can't have much fun in a car as big as this, but believe me, you can. The long wheelbase 7 Series is nearly 18 feet long and over 6 feet wide. They don't come much bigger, believe me. But drive it hard, push it fast into a corner, and it responds perfectly. Your rear passengers may feel a little shaken or stirred, but you'll have the smile of someone who's just been to bed with pussy galore. One of the reasons the car is so sure-footed on the road is that it's fitted with two traction control systems. Yes, two. You get automatic stability control and traction and dynamic stability control, and they equal a great handling car. The moment the computers in the car think you're about to lose control, get into trouble, they cut in and help you out. You'd have to do something very stupid to lose control of this car. So, what sort of secret agent salary would you need to buy this car? Well, a whopping one, that's for sure. You'll need deep pockets to be able to afford the £75,000 price tag, and there's very little in the way of extras. And the mind boggles at the amount of computers in the car, enough to send, perhaps, Moonraker into space. It's not a car for your friendly mechanic from the local garage to be messing about with. So, did 007 James Bond make the right choice in choosing a 750 BMW? Well, perhaps after so many narrow escapes, he thought it was the time to have something a little more comfortable than his trusty Aston Martin. And this car fits the bill perfectly. BMW certainly pulled a masterstroke in getting their cars into the Bond films. But you can't help feeling that perhaps he'd be more suited to driving a Bentley Continental Coupe, for instance. But even that's not British anymore. For me, 003 and a half, this car fits the bill perfectly. Miss Money Grabber, book me a flight to Munich, will you?